This is tutorial number 70, and it covers how to use the split line tool within SOLIDWORKS. Now to start off, let's open up a brand new part file, click File, click New, click Part, click OK. Now what we're going to do in this tutorial is we're going to create a sphere, and from a drawing that we make inside of the sphere, we're going to make it go onto the surface of the sphere. So to start off, let's draw our sphere. So let's click Sketch, click Line, click Front, and from the origin, when we have the dotted blue line, draw a line straight down. Now with the Smart Dimensioning tool, let's make it 25 millimeters from point to the origin on each side. Now this is going to be important as we're going to draw a sketch on the origin line here, and it has to be able to extrude up onto the surfaces equally. Now let's click three point arc, click this point, click this point, and let's pull it out until it's at 180 degrees. Click OK, click accept, and now we're going to click feature, click revolve base. Now for the axis, click the line here, and it's going to revolve around and create a sphere. Click OK, and now we have our sphere. So let's click the isometric view and let's sketch onto the top plane. Now if we look from the top plane, we're going to be sketching into the middle and we're going to be making the images go on the top and the bottom. So let's look at the top. Let's click Sketch. Click the Spline tool. And let's sketch a pattern that kind of looks like the seams on a baseball. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off by highlighting the red outer area of the circle and that's going to be a coincident point and we have to have this to make an equal sketch on both sides to meet at a point. So let's start off there, click it, and now just freehand what the stitching on a baseball would look like. And you need to end it by highlighting or making a coincident point on the outside line. Now you'll know that you have the coincident point when that yellow feature appears on your drawing. As you can see, as I go to the edge, the yellow feature appears. So click it, click OK, and now we have our sketch. Now if we look around, the sketch is inside, it's in the middle, and we're going to make it go up and down, and it's going to look like seams on a baseball. So let's click Insert, click Curve, click Split Line, now what we have to do is click the sketch that we're going to use. So let's open up the tree, click Sketch 2, and the surface. So let's just click the surface of the ball, click OK. And now you can see that our drawing that we first created is now on the ball on the surface, on the top and the bottom. Now let's extrude out these lines that we just created to make it look like seams on the baseball. So let's click the top view, click the top plane, click circle, and on this sketch that we just created, go to the very edge, and let's draw a circle. And let's make the radius 1.5 millimeters, click OK, click Accept, now go to Feature, click Swept Base, and let's choose the drawing we just made and then choose the seams. So let's click the top seam, click accept, and now we've made the top seam. Now we can do the same for the bottom. Click swept base, open up part three, open up the first sweep, click that sketch, and we'll click the bottom sketch, click OK. And now we made the bottom half. So now we're able to, from a drawing that we made, a 2D drawing inside, we made it 3D and then we extruded from that 3D. So now we made what resembles a baseball with the stitching. And this concludes our tutorial on how to use a split line within SOLIDWORKS.